Hi guys, uh, welcome to Class Piano 3, or Muse 180, or 281 rather. Um, so I'm Miss Taro. Uh, I think almost everyone in this class has been, uh, was in last semester with me, but there are a few new people. So um, to those of you who are returners, welcome. Excited to have you again. To those of you who are new, welcome. I'm excited to meet you guys. Um, so this class is going to work the same way that it did last semester. So for those of you who are new, um, you will see in your content folder space on Blackboard. You'll have week one, week two, week three, etc., all the way till finals week. And under in those content folders, you'll see um, a little blurb talks about what's going to happen that week, um, followed by a test or assignment folder, and then you'll see videos underneath, video links to watch for the week. So the um, idea of this class being asynchronous, I know it sucks, but we're just <laughs> kind of doing what we need to do right now, is that during our class time on Monday and Wednesday, which is located in the syllabus that I will send out to you later tonight, um, is that you will use that time to watch the videos, which will be between 20 to 30 minutes altogether in a day, and then to practice the rest of the time what's talked about in those videos. Um, so for about an hour, you'll watch, practice, watch, practice, that sort of a thing. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to have some time not on those days to practice as well. So Monday and Wednesday, you watch videos, practice along with them, use that class time. Friday is when your assignment or your test or whatever is due that week is due. And it's due by midnight on Friday. Um, I typically have pretty fast grading time turnaround most of the time, um, so hopefully I should be able to grade things and get them back to you with feedback by Saturday or Sunday so that you don't forget what you've done um, by the time I've graded something. That's my goal. Um, uh, so with that being said, on Friday there's also, um, during your class time, I have an office hour time that you can use. You can use as little or as much as you want, and the, that will be... Um, uh, over a Zoom meeting, so I'll post a link um, in Blackboard, make sure to highlight where that is. Um, with that being said, I would highly encourage you, especially because this is the piano proficiency semester, I would highly encourage you um, to uh, use the, that office hour quite a bit, as much as you need. I have a couple people in this class I know who used it quite a bit last semester, and they did improve some, particularly on scales. That was a fun time. So I highly suggest using that. Um, so your class will be a little bit different with the proficiency exams, but um, every three weeks in this class, you'll have a test. So the assignments will just be like a short little video, like play measures one through eight of this piece or something like that, or play this, or play like three scales of your choosing or something. The test will be longer. It will be like, play these three scales. Let's do some sight reading, harmonization, that sort of a thing. Same thing as last semester. Um, a few things to highlight. So in week nine, we will have a midterm when, which you'll do um, harmonization for Star Spangled Banner. Um, and in, in addition, you will also be playing two short compositions, intermediate level compositions that you're going to use for the piano proficiency exam. So that way you can kind of get a grade on them and see how you stand. Then in week 11, you will take the prepared part of your proficiency exam. As of right now, um, that is going to be the two compositions, not memorized, that's a big change from last semester, um, and then scales. Um, we are debating on whether to put scales back right now, but I will have a definite answer for you for that by week two. Um, regardless, week 11 is the earliest you'll be doing your scales. We will also spend a good chunk of the semester, starting around week three or so, dealing with sight reading. Um, so... A lot of times, sometimes for your assignments, you won't know what it is until Friday morning and I will send out a mass email that says, hey, for this week's assignment, I want you to spend like 30 minutes trying to play through um, this short musical example on page whatever in your books. And you will sight read through that and then record yourself because sight reading is a big portion of the exam. That will take place during finals week. Dr. Minketty and Dr. Rowe will also be there. Um, and it will be held over Zoom, obviously, with a distance format. Um, you will uh, be doing open score reading. Um, we'll see if we can get to three voices, but definitely two voices at once. So we will also practice that. 
In addition, we'll do some site harmonization and then we'll do like a little site reading and then like transposing that for some easy things. So those will be our focuses. After the prepare portion, we'll really turn the focus over to site reading. So um, that being said, so that will throw the schedule off a little bit. Um, but other than that, um, it should be just be the same format as last semester. So I will make sure to detail everything. Um, there's a folder right under week one called Piano Proficiency Folder. I'm working on kind of editing it, that right now because I just got access to the course space like Wednesday. Um, I will make sure to update everything in there um, and hopefully have everything that I need to have in there by week two and make sure that it's really solid for that. Um, that being said, I know that this class is probably going to be one of the more overwhelming ones of the piano curriculum, especially doing us online. Um, reach out to me anytime that you feel like it. I'm willing to set up times outside of office hours too to help you work on it. And at some point during this semester, I will just have Zoom meetings with you um, where we can kind of meet and discuss how things are going with your pieces and everything. And also so I can see your faces <laughs> and actually communicate with you because um, I've only met a couple of you. so. I think that is everything. Um, I'll be sending out an email tonight with the syllabus attached um, and letting you know it's a bit of a weird week because we start, your class is going to technically start on Wednesday, so it's going to be a little bit off, but by week two, hopefully we'll be able to be settled into a rhythm. So with that being said, have a great day. Hope you had a great um, three-day weekend. Have a good foot first start of classes and... Happy Inauguration Day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.